Hello folks, my name is Michael with Kiefler Lightning Protection. We have an example of a lightning protection system shown on a home. This system was installed about 15 years ago. It's a copper lightning protection system which goes nicely on a wood structure or earth tone structure where copper is compatible with the material. You can see here the conductor sweeping underneath the soffit and sweeping up over the fascia, bonding to the gutters. Lightning protection systems, we follow the standard of the NFPA 780 to install this system. And you can see here how inconspicuous it really is. Again, this is about 15 years old on this structure and holding up very nicely. The air terminals are within two feet of the outside edge of the roof. The lightning conductor in this case is tucked right along the underside of the venter ridge. That's the gray stripe there the ridge vent and we follow that line for concealment. Uh, air terminals fastened to the ridge vent. Very inconspicuous. Uh, the only time the system would ever need any maintenance is more than likely during the re-roof process. Here we have a tripod for a, a modem and it also has a weather anemometer on it. This has aluminum lightning protection on this particular unit here for compatibility. And down below, you can see where the conductor transitions with a bimetallic connection back to the copper. Again, these systems um, follow a standard, the NFPA 780, UL96A, and the LPI 175 are the basic standards, but there is a standard that needs to be followed when you install these. If you purchase a system from us, it comes with all the instruction, design drawings, so it'll get done correctly for you. Structures don't get any simpler than this, but I like to show this because of the simplicity of the system. Here again, the conductor is bonding to the gutters. Nice sweeping radiuses with 8-inch bends or more underneath the soffit, sweeping behind the gutter, 